Every destination has a pathway. And what's our destination? The kingdom of God. Who is the way, the truth, and the life? Jesus Christ. He's the way, the path to the destination. Everyone has a destination. And even a fool will visit a brothel. Is there a path that leads there? Proverbs 14, 2. There is a way which seems right to a man, but the end thereof is the way of death. There is only one destination that leads to life, but many destinations that lead to death. Now let's read Proverbs 4, 12. When you go, your steps shall not be hampered, and when you run, you shall not stumble. Egypt had three days of darkness. Did they stumble? And what was God telling us when this happened? It's that we're nothing without the light. And who is the light? Jesus Christ. We're back to Jesus Christ again. The way, the path, the pathway. And you will no longer stumble. Matthew 7, 13. This is the pathway. Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many are those who enter through it. It's easy to go to hell, for narrow is the gate, the good path, and difficult is the way that leads to life, and few are those who find it. Remember when Paul talked about that through repeated practice, you're training your senses to discern between good and evil. And what are we going through now? We're on the path to Pentecost, count 50, and we go through seven Sabbaths. And every week, we're repeating in a way similar trials or the same trials. Every Monday, we meet the same people when we're, we go to work or we go to school, that Wednesday as well. And what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to be doing better and better and better. That is our obligation. We're supposed to be writing down what we did wrong and praying to God at the end of the night as we go through each day. God, help me. How can I do better and better and better so I don't do this sin anymore? Let's go to Psalm 119, verse 105. Now imagine that good path, the stairway to heaven that Nathaniel saw, angels going to and fro. Are you interested? The Word is a lamp. The Word is a flashlight. We all have one of these. You ever use it to help you? Jesus Christ, He's our flashlight. And a light to my path. You ever been in a dark room you try to walk through and you hit walls? That's literally how we are when we commit sin. Now let's finish with Proverbs 4.18. This is the good path to the kingdom. But the path of the just is as the shining light that shines more and more to the perfect day. Okay, wait, stop right there. You never read the Bible like that. This is the word of God. You handle it with care. And this is a very powerful scripture. And this is how you read it. But the path of the just is as the shining light that shines more and more to the perfect day. Are you in or are you out? You have access to it. It's the only way to get to heaven. Let's say today is day 21 to Pentecost. Tomorrow, day 22 is going to be better because we should be shining more and more to the perfect day. And how do we shine more and more? When we fall, we get up again. And we should be praising Him when we fall because He gives us the ability to get up again and do better and better. Today, 50, Pentecost. So let's keep going strong on the good path as Jesus Christ, our flashlight, is blazing us to the 50th day, the superior harvest of first fruits.
Simulation complete.